What's up everybody? This is Josh from Pomeroy Creative and today I want to show you uh, a little behind the scenes yet again. Um, I want to create a YouTube thumbnail and I just want to share it with you while I do it. Um, as you see here I've got uh, this uh, Google Slides custom playing cards artwork video here. I just finished creating uh, the thumbnail here for uh, the Ned Stark illustration that I, I finished earlier today. Just a really, really short, it's only 24 second time lapse video. Uh, it's like a frame every five seconds or so, just kind of showing the drawing process in uh, Google Drawings. And so anyways, I want to I want to create a custom thumbnail here for my, my playing cards uh, video, um, which if you haven't seen the playing cards I'll just show you that. I used Google Slides for that. And uh, it's a great way of creating multiple uh, pieces or pages or slides or, in this case, cards in one document. It has all the same features as um, Google Drawings with the added feature of having multiple pages. Um, or artboards or slides, however you want to treat them. It's not just for you know a slide presentation. So you can see here I've got 54 cards, and then I've got the front or back, however you see it, the artwork for the uh, I'll call it the back of the card. So I've got all the suits uh, for each number, and I've got all the face cards, and. Uh, this is all a sort of a Viking theme, and I've got a couple decks on the way. Can't wait to see how they turn out, and these will be available hopefully soon. Um, I think we're going to be doing a Kickstarter with uh, with this first edition of of uh, playing cards. Anyways, um, so I've taken the the exports of these cards and just as PNGs. And uh, I've used Pixelmator to just kind of add a, a soft shadow, a drop shadow, because Google Drawings doesn't have that feature. But the rest of it, we're going to use Google Drawings. And we're going to create a um, YouTube thumbnail. And that's what I really hope to help some of you out there with. So we're going to create a new Google Drawings document. And I'm just going to rename this YouTube thumbnail. Okay. And then the first thing that we want to do is go to File, Page Setup, and we can choose. We can actually choose just a widescreen 16 by 9. Um, since these aren't these are not going to be full HD really ever on the screen. These are always small thumbnails. I'll show you here again that uh, YouTube will use sort of as your poster image um, of the uh, video. And uh, so we're just going to choose that. If you want to set it up to to be full HD, make sure you change this to pixels. You can see here this is a, a 960 by 540. Um, you could just make this 1920 by 1080. Let's go ahead and do that. So 1920 by 1080. We've got a full HD. We could use this in the video uh, as well if we wanted to. So the first thing I'm going to do is right click, drop this down, I see my background, and just choose a color. I think I'll choose uh, a dark red to get started. And I'm actually going to borrow some text, that uh, some word art that I already have that um, I've created here. Because I want to keep the same uh, kind of theme going for my um, thumbnails on my YouTube channel. I'm actually going to grab this bottom bar here too, but the rest of it can be different. And so I just... Command C, I'm on a Mac, so I use the Command key and C to copy, Command V to paste. And there I've got all of my, my stuff. And as you can see, this is probably a different 
Yeah, this is a wow. That's big. <laughs> okay, so we can just resize this like this. There we go. And now we should have everything lined up. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is take off this little piece of text here because this isn't going to be for Game of Thrones. This is for the playing cards. And I'm going to change this text by double clicking, typing in. I like to use all caps. And I might just say custom. Custom playing cards. And I'm holding the shift key while I resize this. And once I see that it's these blue guides, let me know that they're um, uh, that I've lined it up with something else that's the exact same width or height. And then I'm going to change this to slides. And in this case, I'm going to slide this over so this is right justified. I might change this uh, color here to black, maybe, or let's just kind of play around with it, maybe just a light gray. Maybe I'll change these to yellow and have the Google. Okay, that's good. So now what I want to do is is actually put in some of these cards. So I'm going to go to the insert menu, image. And uh, I haven't actually tried this, but I'm going to try it now. I just grab multiple images and drop them in. Nope, I can only do one at a time. So that's something to take note of. So let's grab the king first. Okay, there's the king. And like I said, I, I created this little drop shadow here. It's very subtle, but and the rounded corners in Pixelmator. It's a, a great little app if you're on a Mac, much like Photoshop, but without the subscription and price tag. I think it's like $25. So great little program. You can also just grab the image and drag it right into the window and it will import the image, which is also uh, a nice way to do it. So I'm just going to pull these in each one at a time. Let it generate the image. And uh, I want these all to be the same size and then fanned out. And we'll do that in just a second. Okay, so we've got all of the cards in here now. And uh, I think what I want to do is do some math here. And I want to rotate the ace maybe 30 degrees, the king the opposite way, the jack maybe just 15, and the queen 15 the other way. And I hold shift to kind of snap that uh, rotation into place. Okay. And now I can select all of these and make sure that they are aligned vertically together. And there we go. So they're kind of staggered like that. That's that's what I want. And I can also go to arrange and distribute them horizontally. And then I'm going to move them to the back and then just move this black bar underneath it like that. Okay, now I'm going to select all of them, put them into a group with command G and holding shift again, just kind of resize them to fit a little bit better on my screen. And now maybe I'll, I'll ungroup them and, and spread them out a little bit more. Kind of like they're sitting on a table, sort of fanned out. Just have some randomness. And it's okay if this stuff goes off the, off the uh, edge here of the page or canvas. Just know that that's actually going to be cut off when you uh, 
export it or download it as a image. So let's let's do that. That looks quite nice. Maybe move the queen in like that. So I like the overlapping. I like that this kind of overlaps over here on top of this. And um, I'm going to re just call this. Uh, This is the art work called behind the scenes. Artwork process. Okay. So I think it's just nice to have a little bit of a descriptive tagline or whatever you want to call it. And then a nice big bold headline up here. That's just the way that I do it. I've, I've been doing it, and uh, I've gotten a lot of new subscribers um, um, just in the last few weeks. And I think part of it is because I've been I've been creating more of these custom thumbnails, and it's I think it's just really been helping the channel. As you see, some of them I don't have custom thumbnails for, uh, but the screenshots are quite nice uh, as far as the content of the video is is well represented. Um, and so that's kind of how I, how I choose whether or not to do a custom thumbnail for these cards. It's kind of hard to tell what they are by this screenshot. It may just look like a portrait or illustration, but I want to make sure that the content is well represented. So I wanted to do almost like a mock-up uh, that these would look a lot more like actual cards here. Okay. So, um, I've, I've also uh created a few let's see i'll just grab a picture from facebook that i've posted earlier of the cards um when i was doing the artwork and i'll show you what i do with it let's see yeah maybe the maybe the jack I'm just going to copy that image. I'm just using a, a Facebook image here. Go back to my drawing. And what I'm going to do is put this in the background. And it, yeah, it won't be the best quality. But again, remember that these are very small thumbnails uh, once they finally get to YouTube. I'm just double clicking to um, initiate the, uh, the cropping tool, which is the little black handles here. I'm just going to crop this down to just where I see the card. And then uh, kind of line it up first, and okay, like that. Gonna have to crop it again. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. There we go. And then I'm gonna hit Command Shift and the down arrow key. That's gonna move it to the back. And as you see, um, everything now looks kind of messy because uh, we need contrast to read stuff well and to see uh, you know a, a nice uh, separation of, of, of things so this is way too too messy and busy but what I'm going to do is take this transparency way down and almost to be completely transparent maybe about 75 percent I can also take the brightness down that'll give me an, even a little bit more contrast uh, for the text that's on top. And then I can maybe bring the transparency up just a little bit more. And I kind of don't like this yellow, so I'm going to try something else. I might uh, make this also one big block. Like that. And Center it up. And you can still select things when they are grouped together. You just click inside the group again. And uh, let's see if we can get a, a nicer uh, font color here. Maybe the Google I'll change to bright red. It's kind of hard to see. It's 
Let's mess with this background a little bit more. Let me do a color overlay. Ooh, invert it. That's kind of nice. All right, now we can bring in some more transparency or opacity. Actually, what we can do maybe is make this background black. That's kind of nice. And then give ourselves a little bit more of that image. So it's mostly the black and white. That really makes that red uh, Google text there pop a lot more. Now maybe this bottom bar we can make a dark red. Yep, I'll, I'm liking that. So this, this is kind of what I was uh, envisioning in my head. And now we can see what that, what that looks like. I think that's really going to... Uh, pop on the screen, um, and, and it, it represents the content of the video well. Uh, I was creating playing cards and uh, showing off some of the artwork. So um, what I'm going to do now is just save this. I can download it as a PNG or JPEG. Either one really will be fine for your, your uh, thumbnail. I'll choose PNG. It's just usually a little bit more crisp. Um, and since... Uh, YouTube will, will compress these images anyway. Um, it's nice to have that. A little bit more of a fidelity. And uh, so anyway, I'm going to go in here and, and put this on my thumbnail. There's a few ways that you can get into the, the editing of your video. Uh, I just like to go to the video manager and click edit on the one that I want to change this thumbnail of and once that loads you see you've got these sort of three options here that are just really um, frames that it uh, is suggesting to use as a thumbnail and I'm going to hit custom thumbnail and then I'm going to find in my downloads where I saved that and there it is custom playing cards google slides behind the scenes artwork process Go, click open And there we have it. Now, if you don't see the, the, the thumbnail change right away, uh, it's probably because your browser will um, use images that it's downloaded in its temporary files uh, as much as possible. And so you, you may have to clear out your, your history uh, or the cache um, before those will show up. Uh, all right, so hopefully that helps you if you want to create um, more eye-catching custom thumbnails for your YouTube videos. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.